It's part of Sacramento history that's considered an untold story. Legendary skaters began an underground movement that would change the world of skateboarding. We look in the skateboarder magazines and go, we've got our own Northern California thing. Kind of like a parallel universe of what was going on with the Z-Boys and Dogtown. Same thing was happening in Sacramento. Love that. So I'm joined now by James Swigert, the director of Shining a Light on the group known as the In Men. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. You've got to tell us about this documentary, and you've recently won some awards, too, so congratulations. Thank you very much. We're <laughs> really excited. Yeah. Last uh, Saturday at the Los Angeles Independent Film Festival, I was awarded Best Director, which was uh, quite an honor. Yeah, congratulations. And then we were nominated for Best Picture out of 144 films. Seven films were nominated and we won. That Best is Picture phenomenal. Out, as a documentary, which is a big deal. So. Tell us about how this came about for you. This came about because I grew up with this crew, watching this crew, and um, they went on to do amazing things. And <clears throat> when at, at the advent of social media, I went to see if I could still find any of these people after 30 years. And sure enough, I found them and they had yeah. never stopped skateboarding. Wow. And so they had been raising kids and wives and daughters to skate and have gone on to do amazing things, including helping create the X Games, the snowboard and skateboard events for the X Games, mm -hmm. and even had a hand in working with Tony Hawk to get skateboarding in the Olympics for the first time in 2021. Yeah, yeah that's incredible. Now this, this film specifically, it's been in the works for a long time. Tell me about the process. You talked about trying to find those people, but I imagine that wasn't easy. It was not easy. Uh, it's the hardest thing I've ever done. Uh, I set out to make a documentary without any documentation. And uh, I approached them in 2005, and they weren't quite ready to tell their story because they were miscreants and still did a lot of illegal skateboarding in, all around Sacramento, and we kind of pulled the covers on that. And so in 2011, they finally gave me permission to tell their story, mm -hmm. and it spent, I spent 11 years compiling interviews and going into attics and basements and garages, and we actually are un, have unarchived uh, an hour and a half of uh, never before seen wow. skate footage from the Northern California skate scene. Why was it so important for you to do this? It was important for me to do this because I, I went to Los Angeles 30 years ago to make movies and I finally finished my first one. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, it was a dream. I, I work in commercial production. I make television commercials. And uh, this was something that uh, my late great mentor, Bob Palmer, said to me. He said, if you want to make a great film, tell a story that only you mm -hmm. can tell. And this was it. I looked around my life and I went, wow, this is magical. What, what these, these, these kids, you know, and it was a diverse group of kids, black, white, Latino, Asian, they all met underneath the, the I-5 freeway mm -hmm. in between old Sacramento and the K Street wow. Mall. They met down there on this paved embankment and they went on to do amazing things. And there's three world champion skateboarders came out of it. And they're all going to be at the Crest Theater tonight for the big red carpet mm -hmm. premiere. And yeah. hopefully you guys can come yes, and, and shoot some footage. Yes. And, uh, and we've got a show again tomorrow too, because we sold out in 72 hours. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So we do have a full screen. We want to show our uh, viewers here. Again, the screening happening um, tonight. You have another one coming up too, and all the tickets are online. And the uh, website there is on your screen, CrestSacramento.com. Thank you so much for being here. And a big congratulations for sure. Thank you for having <laughs> me, Brandy. <laughs>